Uh, time for some more forgotten about obscure games. Uh, this one is uh, Rubicon um, from Bug Bite. Uh, budget. Uh, this is a budget release, two ninety nine. Um, sort of space walkabout simulator uh, with a bit of puzzling, which I don't understand. Uh, this also has terrible controls. Well, I'm just getting the instructions up because they're very, very brief and it doesn't tell you jack shit what to do. Uh, Okie okay, doke. So, Z, X, left and right. L and shift is duck. So here we go. So our Intrepida, like Space Explorer. It's got a terrible plot, which I won't bother reading out. Uh, but basically you've got to solve all the puzzles and save the planet. Uh, you can duck. <laughs> who, who ducks like that in a game? And you can jump. Uh, don't press the space bar because that quits the game. Uh, you've got some uh, pick, pick up things at the side, which I probably won't never pick up. Uh, so let's have a little wonder. Duck by, yes, there we go. Duck by doing that. Uh, graphics are pretty. But the game is pretty pap. Um, oh, there was an enemy trying to get me. Uh, I'm trying to get to one of these puzzle rooms. Um, and then I'll, I'll get stumped because I don't know what to do. Uh, the instructions are just one paragraph. I've gone much to the beginning of the game, haven't I? Uh, yeah, the instructions seem to be one paragraph uh, that don't tell you anything. It doesn't even mention the puzzles that you've got to do. Um, I think the Rubicon is a play on Rubik's Cube. Oh, I'm dead. Uh, the graphics are nice and colourful, but there's not much game in in, ooh, in this game. Um, okay. It doesn't give you much chance to uh, react. Right. I'm going to die very soon. Die of boredom. Um, so, I mean, it could be a, it's a bit like Exelon, maybe. Exelon meets Dandere, no. Alright, one life left. Uh, where's these bloody runes? Oh, I've been injected with a poison. <laughs> uh, right, I think that. Oh, oh. Oh, I have to play again. I have to play again to show you this bloody puzzle room. Uh, there is a walkthrough on um, on YouTube. Uh, I, I think this is the second video or third video on YouTube because no one's covered this before. Um, no, this is a dead end, isn't it? Um... Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, you can jump those uh, yellow things. So basically you're getting hit in the head and hit in the ankles by enemies. And that seems to be... There we go. <sighs> there seems to be no other sort of mechanics to this game. You can't run and jump. You have to stand still and jump. Oh, God. Okay. Where is this room? Oh, here we go. Now, I've got no idea what's going on here. Um, so this is like... Um, this, is, this is what it's called Rubicron, because it's like a Rubik cube of shapes. Well, it looks a bit like the end board, one of the boards from um, um, the adventure game. Um, the TV show, the adventure game, maybe. I don't know. So what the one thing I've got to do is use the green and stay on the green path and get to the top. Uh, there's no, there's no um, in, in the instructions. It doesn't even mention this. No, I, I can't even get to the. But the, the green staying in one colour, or the yellow is staying in one colour. 
I've got no idea. Up, 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 up. I've got no idea what I'm doing. Oh, I can move down. I'm going to run out of time. Um, I'm going to run out of patience as well. This, this is awful, isn't it? So we go up on a green one. No, we've got no. Oh, I've gone over here. Come on, no. I mean, not to mention this in the instructions is is awful. It says there there are puzzles to solve. Cryptic bunch of bastards. Um, no, no. Oh, I've got to the second. Oh, I've got to the second layer. But I've got no idea what to do, how to progress. I mean, I know it's a budget. It looks nice for a budget game, but please, come on, be a bit more um, in depth on what you have to do. See, so, yeah, I keep getting up there. No. We run out of time. Um, is that game over? Game over. Oh right, okay. You just okay. Ah, let's have one more go. Move it down straight away. Positives: the graphics are nice. There's a big chunky sprite that looks that looks kind of great, but is a bit useless. Um, uh, the dying sequence is okay. Oh, oh. Can we just... Uh. So I've got to... I've got... There's a there's green path here. I've got to take the green path. But I don't know what to do. Um, it won't let me move the other way. No, no, no. There's no fire button. There's no action button. It doesn't... Let's... Right. So there's a green path there. It's the, there, and then the next one is the yellow, is the green square. Green cross, green, green cross. Um... Can you see that? Maybe, maybe. Is there an enter or. There's no indication of an action button or a fire button. Oh! Maybe try going up, up, up with the crosses. We've got to stay in the crosses. No. Maybe space to something. Maybe space does something. I thought space pop quit the game. Wishful thinking. Uh, yeah, you can't get out of this when you're in it. I just take it you've got to get it up to the top. <sighs> See, I can get there, but I can't 
move. No. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, for a budget game, you've spent two ninety nine on this. You play it a few times and think, oh, I'll just put it on the shelf. Um, there's another bug, 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 uh, bug bite game to the, the collection. And just go on to the next game, really. Yeah. Uh, this scored five in Sin uh, your Sinclair. And three in Sinclair user, apparently. I'm not sure what Crash gave it. Uh, but that's pretty bad. Um, yeah. I wouldn't recommend that at all. Uh, Rubicon. R rubbish. Absolutely rubbish. 